Welcome, Growth Tribe, uh, fellow marketers, clients, as well as the global social media marketing team. Today, we're going to bring another video um, brought to you by Global Social Media Marketing on how to do Google Hangouts calls. This is something that's recently come up uh, for me in my day-to-day -day communications with people. I, I use a lot of video conferencing calling um, to connect with my team uh, across the ocean in the Philippines or um, down in Maryland where our social media marketing manager is based or even in Georgia and Athens where my alma mater is. And I've also seen it re work really well with our clients. Sometimes they're not able to meet with us in person. You know, it's um, really easy for them to take a video conference call from their actual office. And I can also show things, right? Right now, you're able to see my screen. I can do the same thing with a video conference call. So just with that being said, some brief things to kind of know about with uh, Google Hangouts, right? I've, I've got an accompanying uh, blog article on our website at globalsocialmediamarketing.com on kind of explaining some of the things that Hangouts provides for us. It is a product of Google and the G Suite that we can use, right? It works with different things such as Mac OS, Windows, and Chrome. Um, really the main benefit that I'm using uh, the Hangouts for is to do a video call. That's the main point of this video, right? So I've already talked about some use case examples, right? If we were giving a client consultation or we wanted to demonstrate something, right? That's really common in the software as a service industry, being able to show a prospect how to use the software employee engagement. I do weekly calls with my team every week. We do them via uh, hangout video calls. It's great. I can show them things. We can connect and see each other face to face. Um, hangouts on air is just a way to kind of broadcast yourself. So think about that as like the YouTube live for hangouts and you can actually repurpose your hangouts on air to YouTube. So that's a cool feature. Um, one thing that I really like about hangouts in general, right, is, is the accessibility. If you have a Google account, you can use them. A lot of people have Gmail accounts. There's um, over 30 million people that use Gmail alone just in our education system in the K-12 market. You can also use it on an Android or iOS. If you've got an iPhone or an Android, that's great. Um, and it also is low cost, right? It, didn't, it doesn't cost any money to actually use Hangout. You just need a Google account. Um, if you have a, a business Gmail account like we do at Global Social Media Marketing, you can also have some additional features there. Um, I think with having some more people that can that can be on the call. And then there's some really nice uh, chat features that you can use. And it's just really a great way to kind of video broadcast yourself publicly or privately and connect with people. So I'm going to kind of go in on how to actually uh, make a video call and set a hangout call. This will be used for any of our clients that you can watch this or for anyone on our team. So the way that you would want to do that is you would want to have a Gmail account. You can also, uh, just so you know, download it as a plugin. If you just type into Google um, Hangouts plugin, if you're using Internet Explorer, right, you could use it as one of these. But I'm just going to show through the Gmail version. So if we were in my email, right, that was calendar, I would go into this right-hand corner of the top box in our G Suite, and then I would go to calendar. You can also see Meet is here. That's for the chat feature. And if you scroll down, I could go directly into Hangouts, right? So I could actually go into Hangouts, and I could continue through. This is giving me all the introduction stuff and actually type in someone's phone number. I could go message someone. I could do a video conference in that moment. Now, what's really nice um, about the calendar and the Hangout features, I can kind of schedule my calls, right? Here's my week ahead. You can see some of the calls I have with people. Right now, I'm actually in a call with Sammy. She's on the other line, and I'm going to just kind of show you guys how I would set uh, another call if I needed to with Sammy. So right now, it's 622. So Let's say I sent it at um, 622. And then, you know, I needed 30 minutes with Sammy, and I might just say, hey, Sammy, weekly catch up. If it was for someone on my team, right? I can put the title in, um, and then I can choose the, the, the date and the time. I can then add the guess. So if I want to add their email, right? It's already saved. That's another great integration feature. There's Sammy, she's popped up. Now, the next thing that I can do is I can decide to put it at a location. If I was trying to maybe physically meet uh, Sammy at her favorite you know, Starbucks, I know she loves coffee, 
or maybe I could just decide to do it in a more virtual, right? So the nice option there is that it will actually generate that for you automatically, right? If I changed it to the location of like a Starbucks, I, it'll fill that in. I could meet her there, but you know, that's the main benefit. So now when I send this invite on a calendar invite, then I'll just get this uh, meeting video conference call that I can click in. I can also dial it from a phone number. You know, our uh, sales account manager, Pete, that's based in Atlanta, he, he doesn't have a computer at the moment. So he's using his phone to actually take these meeting calls. So you can do that. Um, you can also change it into like a reminder or a task or an appointment slot. So now it, it's kind of giving some more context to our calls. But for our clients to keep it, you know, very easy, we might say, you know, um, Benjamin GSMM weekly reporting. And then we'll give them the time and then we'll add their their guest name and then and then just use the video conference call right we don't need an address i'll save it i'll send it and then now i've got that in my calendar so now on sammy's end which i'm gonna uh show you here in a second you would be able to see what that invite looks like so if we went back into my email and we looked at a recent invitation from Sammy, right? This is an example of Sammy sending an invitation to me. This is what, I, what I'm what i seeing, right? So she would, uh, or I would see this invite and then I would agree yes, maybe or no. Am I gonna attend that? Here's the meeting link, right? I can click on that and go straight into the call. And now I've got her email address and I've got a nice little reminder there too. That's another great thing of kind of integrating Hangouts with your Gmail calendar is that I can do that as a client, be reminded, hey, I'm gonna meet with Benjamin and talk our, our weekly reporting. So to kind of show you how that looks, I'm gonna have uh, Sammy and I jump on a call. So Sammy's here on the other line right now. So everyone say hello to Sammy. So I'm gonna drop off now with you, Sammy, and see if you can enter in with me on the other call, okay? So now I've dropped off of that other call. I'm going into our new meeting, right, that I've scheduled. So Sammy's gonna accept that meeting. I'm gonna go into our calendar invite and click on that. And I'm gonna join the Hangouts Meet. Right before I get into the Hangouts Meet, it will say join meeting. And that's where I can join the meeting. As soon as I join the meeting, there'll be a webcam and then I'll be waiting for the person to come onto the call and we will join. On the interface of showing Google Hangouts, we have these other options here at the bottom and there's Sammy, right? She just dropped on the call. We're waiting for our meeting. Hey Sammy, how's it going? Hi. She's in Maryland, we're connecting. And so here's some other cool little quick options, right? So right now I can talk to Sammy face to face, but let's say I wanna show Sammy my screen. So there's an option here in the bottom right hand corner that says present now and you can choose your entire screen or your window you would select uh, your entire screen and then click share so now i'm giving the option for sammy to actually see my screen and i still can kind of see her on the right but not have this big version and then i would just confirm with sarah uh, sammy on the other line i would say hey sammy can you see my screen now can you see my screen yeah I can. okay great so she can see my screen I can kind of hide this little option here and now I can show her anything. Let's say I wanted to show her, you know, uh, the back end of our website or if I was giving a presentation, right? I can go through my presentation. Um, some other little options here to note, I can change our, our layout, make it full screen. If I needed to add captions, there's some more kind of advanced settings in here, right? If I needed to use a different camera or a microphone, Maybe I wanna make this more quality. If I was trying to have standard definition or high definition, um, those are some things. You can also see there's a nice little microphone button here on the bottom. If I click that, see, you can't hear me, I was talking. What that was is it's a mute button. So, you know, what's a really good use case of when to use that button is, let's say you're having a video conference meeting with your team at Global Social Media Marketing, and someone's driving and someone else is eating some Cheetos and someone else is paying attention to the clouds. You know, I don't need to hear all those noises. So when we have a team phone call, you could mute yourself so that you can let the other person on the call talk and not have that, that kind of outside noise and just see yourself talk. 
If you look at the top right hand corner of my screen right here where this green is kind of going up and down, hello? See how it changes? It's changing because I'm talking. If I stop talking, then it's not talking. And so you can also see if people are hearing you through that. I can see the people that have joined the conference, right? So here are the people that are in the conference. I could chat with them, right? If I wanted to go to Sammy um, on the right here, click her down. I could pin her at the top. I could mute her. I could chat with her. So now I can say, hey, Sammy, are you there? And see if she replies, right? And that might be another good use case there to see like, um, maybe she can't hear me in the phone call. Maybe I need to shoot over like a website link, right? To share like a document or something like that. That might also be very useful. Um, we can also kind of add like a, a clock to our meeting and, and edit some different options. There's a lot of kind of cool, just free features that we can use with uh, Google Hangouts. And we're using it today at Global Social Media Marketing for our team calls and with all of our clients. So I hope I kept that short enough. I know these videos can get long. Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, do all that jazz. And thanks for another training here with us at Global with uh, Benjamin and, and uh, Sammy on how to do Google Hangout calls. Thanks, guys. Take care.